Well, yeah. when I competed at Miss Universe Canada, I had just run my first marathon, literally days before I started competing at Miss Universe Canada. And so I was fit, I was, I mean, running for four hours takes a good amount of stamina and fitness, <laughs> and yet I was heavily criticized about my body. So people said that I was overweight and fat and that I looked like I was pregnant and all kinds of things. And of course I knew that wasn't true or I knew that's, that was not my self-perception, but the expectation that people had was something that wasn't acceptable in my eyes. So I started with that platform of trying to change the perception that you don't have to look a certain way to compete in one of these competitions because it's not a runway show. It's about so much more than that, which I had made it since the beginning. Yeah. So I, I just kind of started talking about that and posting about that, not, not ever calling out anyone individually, but just kind of sharing what kind of comments I was getting. And then at Miss Universe, of course, you take whatever nationally to the international stage and it's magnified. So people, of course, were even more critical and they get more defensive about their countries. So they try to bring you down and people would Photoshop images of me to make me look worse than I was. And um, it, it was almost entertaining, but quite sad to know that people around the world were trying to bring these women down who earned the right to represent their country at an international competition and they're trying to do so much with this opportunity and yet we're being brought down because of our bodies. It's just ridiculous. So for me, we're not defined by what we look like and we're not defined by our bodies and we have so much more to offer than that. So.